not sure who's hosting who. <laughs> I guess you are hosting me, but I welcome the other day. It's a, so it's, that's it's one one. Well. It's Good. a drop. Um, it's always a pleasure uh, to be with my friend, uh, the foreign minister, Dmitry Kuleva. Um, and this uh, moment, of course, is of great consequence with what's happening uh, literally every moment in Ukraine on the battlefield, but um, in many ways as important as what we're doing here in London, and that is a reconstruction conference uh, in support of Ukraine that's bringing together more than 50 countries, uh, the private sector, and many others. And uh, that effort to help Ukraine rebuild so much of what has been destroyed by the Russian aggression, to make sure that uh, it emerges from this aggression, uh, not only successful on the battlefield, but also successful in having uh, a strong economy uh, integrated with, uh, with Europe, uh, with investment coming in, uh, and with all of the necessary uh, efforts being made uh, to strengthen its, its uh, democracy uh, and to have, be an inviting place for business. All of that is what we're here to, uh, to work on and to talk about. And I think it's a demonstration with more than 50 countries, Dimitro, of the powerful and enduring support for Ukraine not only militarily, but also economically, and also in everything you're trying to do to build the strongest possible democracy. So we're very pleased to be part of this, and very pleased that uh, Ukraine and uh, our friends here are co-hosting this conference. No phone call can replace an in-person meeting, and I think we should thank uh, James for <laughs> giving us the opportunity to catch up in person. Uh, we always have a lot on our plate uh, to discuss. Yes, in the two coming days we will be focused uh, mainly on uh, the recovery and reconstruction of Ukraine. And I would like to thank the United States for their steadfast commitment to uh, making things happen. Because it's not enough just to have a plan of recovery. It's crucial to have a mechanism underpinning this plan. And the United States play a very important role in helping us build or uh, roll out this mechanism. But uh, of course, today we will also talk about other issues such as uh, uh, the counteroffensive. And I would like to thank uh, the United States for uh, helping us to prepare for, the, for it, but also to ensure sustainability of deliveries necessary for our success on the ground. Uh, NATO, I don't, mm -hmm. I don't think we can skip mm -hmm. that one. Uh, and uh, engagement with uh, the world on the issue of Ukraine's peace formula and holding the peace formula summit. There are many ideas of different uh, uh, peace initiatives popping up and uh, we've been engaging with African leaders recently. You all came back right straight from China. <coughs> but we in Ukraine believe, as, as President Zelensky said, then since it, was, since it was Ukraine who was attacked and the war is taking place in Ukraine, the Ukrainian peace initiative should be taken as a cornerstone for, uh, for all the deliberations. So thank you. I'm very much looking forward to our conversation. Good. Mr. Secretary, what did you tell President Xi Jinping about Ukraine?